You see, with Christy Wallace being out, you have Victoria Vivis in the lineup, which is another great shooter. So I really want to see her come alive tonight to do some things easy on offer. In the WNBA, and her fifth year as a pro, as Boston goes back door and can't connect with Mitchell. The dangerous Courtney Williams, their leading scorer, Kalia Copper. Wheeler into the teeth of the defense, had it blocked. Alana Smith, the Marina Mabry, who came up with that block. Copper on the drive and lays it in. You gotta be able to get your legs on your, on your shot. Well, Indiana's one of their first eight. Chicago, two of their first nine. As Mabry rolls that one in. <laughs> Melissa into Atlanta Smith, and that was Elizabeth Williams with the deflection. Good early hands here from the Sky defense. Mabry left alone. As Indiana's opened up one of ten here from the floor. Copper had an open look inside Smith out to Williams who steps into a three and knocks it down. Indiana's been stymied by the early Chicago defense and Courtney Williams lining up a three. Sky lead by Smith. Lately, Indiana's won four of their last five. But off to a slow start here tonight as the Beaver turn it over. Uh, inbound pass. Courtney Williams finds some space and knocks it down, and Chicago leads it. Defensive end, but as soon as they get the ball, they are off to the races, and this player right here, Courtney Williams. Austin can't pull it down. Indiana now one of 11 from the floor. They hit their first shots. So the Fever have missed 10 straight as Williams knocks it down. The push and transition, the easy screen. Again, one, two into it. it Williams to a charging Williams. But being able to come back and the capacity that they roar back uh, is something that his offense has been. We have seen the Fever overcome a certain adversity, especially in late game situations. So it's coming off a slew of them here lately. She hit seven on Sunday, which tied the second most of her career. Here is Copper with a three ball. This is Ruthie Hebert inside. Shot too strong. The Fever have not seen her this year. Hebert on a second effort gets it to go. Head on over to that website, and we would love to have you here in the building for next season and in future years here at Gainbridge Fieldhouse. As Copper dials up her second three, Indiana. Flake. So be able to come back and really try to make a stamp on the team. Mike Caldwell is a good bit of that. Mabry fades, fires, and hits. Started to dial it in here in the second quarter. Indiana already has more points in the second than they scored in all of the first, but Copper draws the foul and lays it in. An and one coming for the All-Star. To be able to be on that help side to give a lot of support. She's a great player. Three in a row, kind of indicative of what we've seen Indiana first to second quarter. There's Copper in the post using her size. It's been a Copper takeover here in the second. Is eight of her 13 in the second quarter and add three to it. Oh man, she just caught fire. This one went from a slow grinded out game to a track meet in the matter of moments as Caldwell with the steal, denied by Elizabeth Williams. So Chicago went to a zone here. One thing about the WNBA, you want to be able to mix up your defenses, your defenses and cause some problems. Williams steps into a three and connects. Chicago starting to get that three ball to fall. Oh, yeah. Mitchell driving on Copper. Once again, Atlanta Smith got a hand on it. Copper hangs, hands off Williams, back from Avery. That was pretty, but the finish not there. Williams drops it, Atlanta Smith knocks it down from the baseline. The banks are open. And Alyssa Smith, who, after her injury, kind of struggled a little bit with that three ball, but she's coming back full force with her confidence. A comeback here, but if they can do it, you can take advantage of that offer here on Wednesday. Mabry, deep position, gets it to go. They lost in the offseason to free agency, a couple staying over in Europe. Williams, a deep three. That won't fall. Rebound, Smith put it back up and hit it. Williams, bounce pass, beautiful find, it's Mabry. 
Here is Copper. She is deadly in transition with the pull-up game. Oh, yes, deadly. I mean, it, it was a tough miss there when those. Yeah, Copper picking up right where she left off. Now Williams outlet Mabry. Extra pass. Copper pull up three. She gets it to go. And a hot start here for Chicago. It's 23. Every minute they're on the court, that's a great sign coming out of the timeout for this team to get things going. Williams, the crossover, gets inside, and the floater falls. They got to make them stop. So if you don't, you got to be able to be ready to pull up and hit that shot. A long way to go, but the Fever have trimmed a 22-point deficit. Down to 16 until that Robin Parks three. Avery directing traffic, Indiana. Bringing up the defensive intensity, and Mabry knocks it down. Tough look for Mabry. Mabry has the size advantage on Mitchell. He'll try to back her in, kick out Williams, who buries a three. Courtney Williams, third of the night. Copper, catch and shoot, she connects. Kone lining up a three that at times hasn't felt like they've lived quite up to expectations. This is certainly. Evans out for a Mabry three. She connects. Pleased with what they've seen so far here from the three point line, especially. Chicago's knocked down 11 of them. Created a lot of separation here. Mark shot takes the three, gets inside, and can't finish. But it fell right into the hands of Hebert. Was it off in time? They'll count it, but they'll check. 27-point lead after three. Let's take a couple looks at that one. One of her best years as a pro. In fact, Williams fourth in the WNBA in the assist category. There is Williams coming up with the steal. Berger drives into Kone. Bank shot won't fall. Good defense there by the rookie. Williams pulls up from the foul line and gets it to go. And a 4 of 13 from the three-point line. This has been the league's best three-point shooting team They're over their last eight games. They've shot it so much better from the three-point line. Oh, Heber just took it away from Nelissa Smith there. Williams kick out. Parks is open and connects. Timeout, Chris decides. Marks pull up three. Kone battling, handoff soul. We'll finish that thought when we return as the sky in control here from Indy. Fever offense scoring 82 points per game. Stuck at 59 here midway through the fourth. It's kicking off soon. Pacers will be here before you know it. Parks catch and shoot, hits a three. On the Parks, a rookie at a VCU. Parks, who has nine points tonight. Oh, gets the shooter's touch from distance. She's extremely high IQ and she does a great job getting her uh, getting her shots off. Here is Kone splashing home a three. Some nice moments here. 